What's up, man? It's your boy, Joe Simmer, and check it out, man. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be breaking down um, a shootout, man. This was an insane freaking game that, that I played. This guy was good. This guy was dotting my soul in. Um, but we're just going to hop into it, you know? I'm just going to try to break it down, talk about what I was thinking, stuff like that. Uh, something that I noticed is he was running trips right here. So he's running trips to the short side, uh, which is not really ideal. Usually it's not really ideal when you run trips. When you run bunch, you can run bunch to the short side because if you have, in my last video that I put out, if you have a C route with the streak route, right? So you have the streak route and then you have a C route on the short side, That's the C route's gonna get open nine out of 10 times. So that's a benefit, but in trips, I don't see the benefit of running trips to the short side. So I'm not sure what that's about, but you know, nonetheless, um, I feel like that was a really good read. I feel like it was a good catch. I feel like he just got cheated right there. But when he threw that, I was like, oh yeah, you know, this is definitely gonna be a shootout. And so he goes from trips to, uh, to bunch and I'm in cover six. Now, this is something that I wanted to, let's see if I can show you right here is what I've noticed is whenever you have your user in a zone, it doesn't matter what zone it is, but if it's like a mid read or a deep blue or something like that, what I've noticed is you get a lot, you get better um, interception animations. You get a higher chance for an interception. So I'm, uh, how would I explain this? But whenever you blitz, so whenever you put your user on a blitz, yes, you do run faster, but also you risk not being able to catch a lot of interceptions. So that's basically why. Is That's why sometimes I have my guy in his zone because um, I want a better pick animation. You know what I mean? So just if you didn't know that, now you know, right? And that was a good read. A good read by him, good pass. But I'm staying in this cover six and I have um, my flats to 25. So that way it takes a corner route and then boom. Yeah, that's one of the problems when you run cover six is in the middle of the field, it's going to be open because there's nobody in the mid read. So that was just a great read by him. Um, and then we start on offense. Okay, so this was this was before I had some of the good cards. I was still rocking Matty Ice at the time. Uh, this right here, let's break this pocket down. This is horrible pocket. So as soon as I snap the ball, I could just stay right here. So I don't know why I'm moving to the left, right? Because I got sucked into this guy. So just bad pocket. See if I can show you the player. I can't show you the player, but that's one of my favorite plays to run. And ooh, Carmichael. Carmichael able to able to beat him. You know, I free form that to the right. So if I wasn't if I didn't free form that, it was it probably wasn't gonna be uh caught so i go i go to y curl from here and this is what i was talking about is the streak with the c route except this is wide side so it's not really going to work but if you run this combination right here to the short side the c route is going to get open like night and day but i think at this point i was just trying to make something happen the clock was kind of running down too and I get sacked, but this was, uh, okay. So I got Matty ice at the time. I'm rewatching this by the way. So with you guys, but let's see. Okay. Now this play, you guys know that I love this play. So I go from bunch to trips. So, um, if you're wondering why I do a lot of audibling and stuff like that, it's just to give them a different look and I run certain plays in certain areas. So I'll usually run this play once I get past the 50. Right, so once I get past the 50 or something like that, I'll usually run this play. This is definitely a good red zone play too. As you see, I'm always looking for the tight end on this route, man. That If you have a good tight end, um, that was a great thing to do right here is after I caught it to Jurtle. Okay, so boom. As soon as you catch it, Jurtle, and then you get out of that shoelace tackle, all right? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to break that tackle, but definitely as soon as you catch the ball, just try to journal, try to get out of there. That helps. And then right here, Y curl. I'm looking, I think I was looking for Carmichael. Yeah, that's, that would be, that's definitely the read. 
Good read by me. So right here, right? Was this a no huddle? Yeah, so it was a no huddle. So once I notice, <clears throat> excuse me, once I notice he's a man coverage and everyone's rolling up, uh, this guy's following, then I know immediately that at the time Carmar, uh, Carmichael was the best receiver. So he's gonna he's gonna torch anybody in man coverage. So I figured put him on a po uh, on a corner route, and um, that's just an easy read. You know what I mean? So nice nice little throw and catch. Um, I don't I, the free form wasn't necessary, but nonetheless great read. So he comes back out and trips. So he's going trips to wide side bunch. Okay, so that's the reason he's go he's running short side trips. So let's see if I can explain this. When you run trips to the short side and you audible to bunch, the bunch is going to flip to the wide side. So he's short side trips. He audibles to bunch. That's going to put the bunch on the wide side. So that's a really smart thing to do vice versa if i if i am wide side trips and i audible a bunch i think the bunch is going to switch to the short side but then again not sure but yeah that's the reason for that that's the reason he's coming out short side trips is because when he audibles to bunch it's going to be on the white side it's actually a really smart tactic and so i'm just playing man coverage now i do blitz my user because I'm not, I'm not sure why, but I was blitzing my user and, and I figured it's to run faster too. Okay, that's strange. When he went from short side trips, this must be bunch tight end. Because the last time he went to bunch, it flipped to the wide side, which is usually what happens. So this has to be bunch tight end, if I'm not mistaken. So I think when you go from trips to bunch tight end, you don't flip. That's interesting. Pretty sure that's bunch tight end. And then boom, nice. Nice defense right there, man. So I come out right here. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that was worth a shot. I'm surprised Matty Ice even made that. Right here, I'm running trail. This is one of my favorite plays to run is trail right here. Everybody's going to the left side. It's just a matter of who's open. Just patient for it. And Jurtle, I'm telling you, that Jurtle's the reason I got the first down right there. You got a Jurtle, man. Especially after a catch. You evade a whole bunch of tackles and stuff like that. There's another Jurtle. Look at that. Just getting in the open like that, man. The thing is, as I've talked about before, is this is definitely a touchdown. Has to be a touchdown, right? Yeah, that was who I was looking for. See, that's the problem. Why doesn't it let me go for it? I don't know what that's about, but the problem with Jurtling is you play on balance, so you risk fumbles. As you'll see in this video, it, it basically costs me. But... This is what I saw here, right? Is this looks like... I figured it was either cover two or cover four, right? And so, I was looking right here. At the tight end. And it didn't even let me go for it. See what I mean? That's the issue with Madden, is it doesn't even let you go for it. But what I could have done, is if that's happening to you, you can go into your um, receiver catch and you know put it to aggressive. And most likely, they'll jump for it. Okay. So this is a route combo right here. Is I'm in trail, except I made... I basically made a mesh post. There's a play called mesh post, right? So I have the... London is going to be on a post. And then I have Carmichael on a shorter in route. Okay, this is going to dominate man coverage. And then the reason I streak Kelsey right here is to free up the post route i'm not looking for more and um 
Bo Jackson is my last read. So it's between Carmichael and London. So that's the reason for this play right here. Okay. Because you have the, the deeper post and then you have the shorter. So it's like a pick and choose with the user kind of thing, which is pretty dope. And I'm pretty sure I hit Carmichael right here. Yeah, that, that would definitely be the read. So I'm just trying to move the ball. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out what defense is he running and stuff like that. Trail again. I'm usually running a lot of stuff out of trail. This is my favorite route combo. I always run this route combo. This is one of my bread and butter plays right here, man. So if you're watching this video, then you get a really, really interesting play. But I go from bunch, as you'll see, I go from bunch to Saints. I believe this is Saints in. I need to change the song. One second. Yeah. All right. So uh, I go from bunch, right? to saints in it's it's whichever one this this receiver is is on out and then what i'll do is i'll have the slot guy my my best slot receiver or my best receiver i'll put make sure he gets in the slot and i'll put him on, on a post i streak the tight end and then i have london right here on a drag bo jackson the reason i put bo jackson on this little flat route is to just um to take one of the corners out of the game, basically. Uh, he's not really a read. It's just to to mess with his zones and, and take the corner out. Okay, so, but my main read right here is always a post route. Yeah. Man, that's a, oh my God, that's a crazy dot. That is such a crazy dot. That's such good pocket. Way to be patient. See? I could have stepped up a little bit, but nonetheless, wow. And the fact that Matty Ice at the time, he was kind of outdated. So the fact that he made that throw was awesome. But as you see here, look at the pocket, right? Not doing too much. Um, I feel like this is a right call to not step up here because I think I would have got hit way sooner. I need to get the the hit off, man. That's just, that's just a great dot, really. That's just a freaking incredible pass. All right, so I go into, yeah, bunch tight end. Yeah, so his trips to bunch tight end. That's why I didn't flip. Interesting. So he's going from bunch to tight. I have my, so I have my flats to 25. So this guy right here is going to drop back 25. It's going to take a lot of corner routes, stuff like that. And then I believe I have my curl flat over here to 15. So that's going to help with, um, let's say this guy's on like a slant. That's going to help with that. And the problem is, is I leave the middle of the field open. So I leave the, that's how he scored with Tyree, uh, Tyree kill. That's how he scored that one touchdown is because I left the middle open, right? So that's just my thought process at the time. He does have Brady, so I don't need a QB contain. But sometimes if you QB, uh, if you QB contain, then the blitz comes in sooner. So that's, this game is just very strange sometimes. Like each game plays different. See, he was going deep again. Luckily, my pressure got there, but he's going deep again. It's a problem with cover six. I wonder what I do to adjust. So I, I, yeah, I'm sending a lot of pressure because I notice he's getting time. That's good. That's good. So this is good defense right here. I feel like this is great defense because I have this guy. He's lighting up. I'm manning up this guy in case he's on a streak. I believe that's Peppers, Julius Peppers. Yeah. Okay. So this is a gr this is a great way to adjust. Is I put this free safety in this middle third, but so this whole side is covered. If the tight end's on a flat, he'll get the flat, and then I have everything over here. So, so let's see. Where does my user go? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's perfect defense. That's a, that's, that's great defense it, to somebody who is, to somebody who is getting a lot of time in the pocket, that that's something you want to do. Cover the middle and double team like the wide side. And then just, you're going to have to take uh, everything else. But what I do here is I end up looking at his 
offensive offensive abilities and i'm just trying to see if he had fearless which he did and i'm trying to figure out um what his receivers have so slot omatic short in you know nothing too crazy route tech on kelsey you know that's something you guys can do is you can always look at the offensive abilities you may you know you may not think to do that you know and so it's it's great it's a it's a good tactic to always look at your opponent's offensive abilities you know because you can adjust accordingly right i forgot about that yeah buyers he had a journal on me that's never happened that's how fluky this game is <laughs> like, it's just unbelievable So what do I end up running here? I end up going to, I think I end up running cover three, right? Won't you run cover three in this situation? Yeah, man, I am on point. Okay, so I saw my zone drop. So I have the 25 on the flats. And then I think I have five or 15, whichever one. I think and these might've been a five or 15, but I come out in three, three, five, and then I audible to Mike Blitz three or Sam Blitz three. It's the same thing, but I have the mid read, and then this slot corner because he's on a twenty five. He's gonna take all the corners. Same thing with this uh, strong safety. Him at twenty five. He's gonna drop back twenty five. Take all the corners. In case the tight ends on a corner, and then these curl flats will take the shorter routes, and then I just kind of. Um, you know, how my user or whatever, but he's dot. And so I'm playing a little bit more coverage. I think this is a good defense. Yeah. Problem is he gets more time. Perfect defense, man. Perfect defense. Let's go. Oh, I do remember what happened in this game. Okay. I can't wait to, so you guys see what happened to end the game. But right here, I should have thrown the ball away as I was running. I end up getting... Um, I end up getting to a fourth down and that sack was, that's a horrible sack. So fourth, let's see, fourth down two uh, second quarter, a minute left. I don't think you go for it here. I think this is a really bad call. I think the only reason I went for it is because it's just mutt head to head. So I figured I'd go for it, but tournament style, you don't want to go for this ever because I'm playing good defense. I've, I've had two interceptions so far. I'm playing great defense. There's an, it makes no sense to go for it right here, but because it's mutt head to head, which this was that I was like, all right, screw it. I'll just go for it. So I'm pretty sure that that was a mentality. Yeah, so I'm looking for Kelsey, most likely. See right here, see the mismatch? Right, this guy, if he comes out and he comes blitzing, I'm going to have Kelsey, most likely. In the worst case, I'll look for Bo, but he got Bo Jackson, so I think I'm looking for Kelsey. Yeah, I end up looking for Kelsey. Just a bad pass. A bad pass by Matty Eyes. <clears throat> and then, boom, right down the middle. All right, so then don't break right here. And you got to make sure you put your zone drops all the way back. Let's see if I end up doing that. Yep, boom. Okay, so if he catches it and he's on the one or two, you have to go back. And make sure you guys zone drops are the default. Look, if I have my zone drops to 25 and 15 on the one, it's a free touchdown. You got to put everything back to default. Great defense. Excellent defense. Don't call a timeout. That's his last timeout. Let, let them run their, their, their timeouts out. So I figured, um, you know, as you see, I'm clogging up the middle. So I, I'm, I'm pinching and then I'm crashing my defensive line down and I'm standing right here, right above the lineman, just to try to uh, glitch out the lineman. Try to stay as close as possible.
Let's go, man. Crazy defense. Crazy defense. Now, I actually didn't want to take that out. Um, I think I ended up on the one, and then I had to, you know, use, you know, goal line or fullback dive or something. But I come out, you know, try to run the ball. That's a dangerous jurtle. If I jurtle like that now against a 99, it's probably a guaranteed fumble. So if I were you guys, if you're going to play on, on balanced, you got to jurtle after the catch. Not necessarily kind of jurtling like that into people is most likely going to cause you a fumble plenty of times. But here I'm in stack formation, okay? The thing about stack is you can't press stack at all. You can't, you just can't press stack. I went ahead and gave Carmichael a shot. And uh, Ty Law just gets an insane interception. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's okay. I got him pinned in his own goal line. So I'm cool with that. Interesting. As you see, the run defense is there, though. Run defense is looking good, man. But yeah, I'm playing really aggressive. So what I'm doing here, I don't know if you can see these safeties come down. I do this a lot, but sometimes whenever you're in a certain formation... So what I'm doing here is I'm showing blitz. So to show blitz, you, you hit wire triangle, and then you hit left right so i hit wire triangle and then i'll hit left okay what that's gonna do is that's gonna show blitz so these safeties are gonna come down and play really aggressive i can't find a good song to to but boom right when you show blitz they come way down in the box okay i love to do this when i play very aggressive so that way i don't have to click on the safety and bring him down click on the free safety bring him down i can just show blitz and they will come you know they'll come way down and play really aggressive so that's why i end up doing here yeah i'm just sending the house basically sending the house staying in the middle yeah and he hits me right over the top but he's thrown three interceptions like this should not be a close game but i've made you know quite a few mistakes and that's okay. All right, so I want you to take a look at this. So I end up going from 3-3 to 3-3 Cub, right? I'm in cover four. I press and I shade down and then I click on this safety and I'm bringing him down further, okay? Because that's the short side. So I'm bringing the safety down a little bit further than the free safety because it's short side. He's gonna play really aggressive. Um, and I know he likes to throw these little quick streak routes to the tight end. So that's my reasoning for that is just adjusting like that. Yeah. So I end up blitzing the slot corner on the right. Or I mean, actually the, the safety he's already blitzed, but it's because it's three, three, five wide. Right. And, um, that's why I bring the, the strong safety down further. So he plays a lot more aggressive, Right. Nothing too quick. I think I get another pick. That yeah, that should have definitely been a pick, 100%. See, I'm doing the same thing. So short side, I'm bringing the... Whichever safety is on the short side, I'm bringing that safety down further. And... um. It helps with coverage. Definitely helps with coverage. Ooh, man, I almost lurked that. I'm just getting mossed all over the place, man. That's crazy. I'm getting mossed all over the place. Yeah, that's... Oh my God. I don't know about that read. Like I said, man, this guy's just kind of tossing it up. Oh, that actually wasn't Tyreek Hill. That was brand. That was Cooks. I don't know. I, th I don't know who that is. I thought it was Tyreek Hill. I wasn't paying attention. But here I roll out. 
pick up some yards with Matty Ice. This is an issue. I should have took that out of bounds, right? Number one, I was playing on balance, which is a horrible move to take a hit, but I'm getting too greedy, right? I'm trying to get a little bit too greedy and I just need to run out of bounds right here. Yeah, that's just bad stick work. I need to take that out, especially it being a closed game like this. Madden's definitely going to cheat you at any chance that that it can so you gotta be careful also your you know your qb is going to be yellow or you know start to start to be real fatigued and then he won't throw as far and stuff like that but here i'm looking for carmichael just a little short read yeah great great throw yeah so right here i got london on a crossing route and uh, this is a great route combo. Um, this is such a good route combo to do the post with the corner because what happens is sometimes their corners will bump into each other and then the whoever is on the corner is going to get open. On the corner route is going to get open. But usually the corner backs will they'll bump into each other when you have a route combo like this. So... Yeah, the tight end wide open. Yeah, oh, that's such a bad read. I think I definitely forced that. Look at the tight end, wide open. Wide open. And Carmichael probably going to be up, actually, or the post, if I was patient enough. I figured I could get it to him. Let me see, what was I thinking on this play? This is also, yeah, this guy just swarmed in too. I just stared him down. Oh my God. Yeah, ended up turning it over right there. Double coverage should have been picked. But fourth and seven, he takes a field goal. Yeah, so the way I see it, at this point, I'm like, all right, cool. I held him to a field goal. I'm playing good defense, right? So I'm not really too worried about it. Um, his zone drops are pretty far back on that play, so I think I do notice that. And I got a minute 50 left, three timeouts. I'm in every position to win this game, right? As you see, his zone drops are really far back. So like I said, I'm just going to take everything underneath. I've run this is like the same play like three plays in a row what do i end up running here okay i end up switching it up i'm looking for carmichael because i notice it's man coverage this is man coverage right yeah this is definitely okay so let me show you why i think it, why i know it's man coverage yeah excellent play excellent play but this is how i know it's man coverage so boom so I go to this combo. It's the same thing. Like I said, whenever they're in man coverage, corner with the streak, man. Now, the reason I know it's man coverage is because of this guy right here. This cornerback is on the inside of London. He is on the inside of their receiver, okay? Um, as well as everybody's lined up symmetrical, right? So I have he's lined up on him, slot corner, and, and this outside corner is lined up on him, right? So I see that on the single, if you look... Whenever you play bunch, I mean, not whenever you play bunch, whenever you are in bunch and you have a single side receiver, I actually have, I have a breakdown on this. So if anybody wants to see the breakdown, I'll leave that video in the description or in the comment section, I'll pin it and it'll say how to read a defense. Okay. So, but this is what I notice is he is inside of the receiver, which is going to tell me that it's man coverage. So I end up going to that combo and I'm, I end up high passing. As you see, as soon as he lights up, I just wait a little bit, high pass, and there's just no beat in that, man. Great play. And then I start to chew clock, right? I see an opening, journal, fumble. <laughs> so that's what we talked about before, man, is that's some of the, that, you know, you, you're going to risk fumbling. 
Look, I have the game. I have the game bagged. So, right? Excellent drive, excellent blocking, and I want to I want to juke this guy out. So, a typical juke would have probably worked with Bo Jackson, but I end up journaling and he hits me while I'm in air and I end up fumbling. I was like, "Oh my god." So, that's a perfect example of lit if you're going to, you know, live and die by the sword, <laughs> right? So if I'm going to be taking risk of journaling, I'm I know for a fact I'm, I'm going to be fumbling at one point or another. And as you as I told you, Madden will cheat you in the lower you know, while time's running out. So you got to be careful. But yeah. 17-14, I had every chance to win that game. And because I wanted to get fancy and jurdle, I end up fumbling. So this is a do or die situation right here. I still have three timeouts. And I got him pinned. I got him pinned in, in his own. Um... In his own end zone. He ends up getting that. Which is, that's like the first time that I've seen buyers make a run like that it's the first run he's had that's been like over eight yards which is so funny and then he runs again i get him right gotta call timeout and um yeah that's basically it so yeah i had every chance to win and because i wanted to jurtle i end up fumbling so i think he ends up getting what happens here yeah i end up stopping the clip yeah so I end up losing that game all because of the journal and then that last play. He finally got like a run. But hopefully you guys appreciated this breakdown, man. Um, as you see in the closed games, you know, all it comes down to is really one play. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave uh, that video of how to read a defense. I will leave that pinned in the description or, or pinned in the comment section. And uh, so, yeah, man. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video, man, this breakdown. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.